Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob. Welcome back to my channel. Great man, it's so awesome to be back on another video. And uh, yes, we are on the Alpine um, farming map or the Allen Grot or whatever they want to call it. Uh, we're on that map. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, this map I've already stripped bare a bit and um, I'm busy preparing it for my map conversion the wild um, which I'm busy with um, in the background you know so but anyway tonight's video guys if uh, you are joining the first time uh, a warm welcome to you remember to like and subscribe it does help the channel grow I really appreciate that and I uh, just want to put this volume down a, a wee bit don't like too much loud noises <laughs> while I'm trying to talk well great guys if you uh, sit back and relax with me grab a cup of coffee um, whatever you like to drink tea beer um, whiskey whatever it is doesn't matter just come and relax with me and tonight's video we or today's video whatever time it is there by you we are going to look at how to put a placeable um, in your map make it usable and how to do that um, it's just a request someone gave and I thought I'll, I'll push this video in because it's quick and easy it's not something difficult to do so tonight or today's video is going to be just about that great so let us have a look at what I can add to this um, and um, let's put that into the map as a working thing um, and then let's let's go for it man let's go for it I want to just have a look at what um, cell points and stuff there is on on this map uh, cell points is now here prices price fluctuations uh, that's vehicles that's just crops and growth and all that this uh, PDA is gone because obviously I haven't placed the new PDA for the map so that's all I've converted the map directly so I need to make a PDA for it or I could just copy the the um, the one from uh, Edelngrot and just modify that a bit you know but anyways let's get stuck in with that guys okay guys <clears throat> just a, um, a bit of background before we get stuck in I've decided to put a horse stable for us on the farm and um, because the farm doesn't have a horse stable so I, I decided to um, add that to the farm if you look at the farm now you will see that there's absolutely zero nothing going on but while we were in game just now everything was there so now you have to think to yourself how how do they do that and why do they do that what they've done now in FS22 it's similar to FS17 where your placeables the guys didn't load the placeables in the i3d but loaded via XML into the game when you load up the map in the game um, the game will look at the XML and pull all your placeables into the actual game that you open so they're not actually there <laughs> they're just there on paper <laughs> they do that because they want the i3d file this one your game uh, your map i3d if you go into your map you find your map i3d which has got all the stuff that's in the map they want to make that thing as simple and easy as possible so that it can load quickly um, and that there's not a lot of complicated stuff in there, you know. But if you have millions of stuff in the i3d, it becomes a large bulky file. It needs to uh, load and um, just creates rendering problems and probably all other computing issues, you know, making games slow and, you know, the, so that it's streamlining the, the i3d. That's why they do that. So don't be dismayed when you don't see anything here. Now, I personally... I hate to work like that because you can't see nothing now where nothing is now you must guess here what is on the farm and where is it located so this whole farm is actually populated with a cow because uh, we started the, the we started the map when we started I think it was somewhere here so the cow farm is here and I have to now visualize what is actually here but there's nothing you see so that is to me I don't I hate working like that so to 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 solve the problem or, or to just elaborate a bit on that more rather what I do is I make my map using the placeholders folder now a placeholders folder you can have many of those in your in your uh, map tree it's just a folder with an attribute on it 
it's an on create so it runs on when when the when the uh, map loads it runs and it's got the the uh, what do you call this thing here on the side that says placeholders dot on create so that's just got a script running placeholders dot on create and it the script tells the game that what is whatever is in this folder does not load in the game now be careful now because think nicely now it's in the r3d i place it here but it will not load in the game so if you put something in this folder it will not be there in the game it will only be in the editor so you can see it in the editor but not when you open the map in game that's when you place it in the placeholders folder with that script running now to create that script is very simple uh, you can take any folder and and create a uh, script for it you just say here yeah, you go into a script callback because we want to run a script and you go add sorry you must put the name here um, what was that name now you copy copy uh, copy this name it's placeholders dot on create and it's very important with the capital C and the capital P so if you go to the first you'll see it's placeholders point or dot on create all right so you copy that all right if you don't have a folder like that um, it's simple and easy to create you can have as many as you want as long as the one is not in the other one obviously this one this folder is now in the main form so we're going to use that as an example so let's create another folder or um or let's just make this carpenter folder a a um, placeholders folder so um you can go in here open this up uh go create uh create 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 transform group take that one cut it drop it in the carpenter folder control v and here it is and you can name it placeholders so it's place holders like that and there you go and now Oh, I see it's spelled with a small p. I don't think that will make a problem because um, it's not about the spelling of the name there. It's about the actual script that's running. That's all that's uh, diffi diff different on it. So the name of the script is on create. So we're going to uh, copy this uh, placeholders.onCreate. Just make sure you spell it right. And we're going to go here. Sorry, I forgot to press Control c Miss press control C and otherwise you will need not get it. So you go onto the folder and you type in here on create like that because that is the name of the, um, the script or, or whatever and you call it the script callback and you go add and these are on create and you place in here what script to run. All right, so you paste it in there and now you've created a you press enter and there you go now you've created a placeholders folder in your thing that will whatever you put in this folder will not be visible in game but will be visible in your editor now that's the way i like to do my stuff you know because then i can um, see i can see all the stuff i have and then once you've finished at the end of your map at version 10 and you're perfectly happy with everything you can optimize your 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 map by deleting that placeholders folder because you don't need it uh, you can just delete the whole folder with everything in it and it won't make a difference on your game then then everything will disappear dis disappear like this and you won't see it in the editor anymore but they will be in the um they will be in the uh, xml but remember now everything you put in the placeholders folder you must pull in via xml because otherwise if you put it in the placeholder it won't be visible in the game anyway <laughs> so it's pointless putting it in there and thinking you're going to see it in game you know anyway i've talked a lot of nonsense now um uh, too 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 much chatter so let's get stuck in all right so a horse stable so we want to place a horse stable so i'm going to select a piece of land that I, I i know there can cannot cannot be anything on it and i'm going to probably put it down here and what we're going to do now, first of all, is we're going to find a spot for our little horse stable on the farm. And we're going to go File. We're going to go Import. And we go into Farming Simulator 22. Uh, if you don't know where yours is, if you have the Steam version, 
it's under Steam. Steam apps common Farming Simulator 22. If you have the box version, it will be under Program Files, Farming Simulator, or whatever place you've installed the game when you've run the setup of the game. Okay. Uh, if you're not sure of where it is, I can quickly show you how to make sure. Uh, I'm mind you, it won't work on the editor because the editor is not the game. So sorry, I can't show you. You have to know where you've installed the game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you go Farming Simulator 22, um, that one there. You go to Data, you go to um, Placeables, and then in here you will find a host of Placeables for the uh, for your maps. So here is tons and tons and tons of stuff that you can use for your maps. Uh, there's easy sheds. Um, these are all brand names for different kinds of things. But I think we're going to go into the lizard one because that's where all your um, uh, stuff is for cows and whatever. Greenhouses, cell points, pig barn, uh, workshop. I just don't see. Uh, I don't see. There's a cow barn. There's a chicken barn. I don't see the horses. Uh, bunker silo, biogas. Fences. Horse barn. There you go. There's a horse barn, guys. So you're going to open that horse barn. There's a uh, horse barn small. So we're going to open that bloop bloop like so. And now I'm going to take that horse barn small. I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to drop it into my farm placeholders for now. Because I want to see it here. I don't want to see it in game. Remember, you can't lose. You can't load it twice. That's why there's a placeholder file. If you want to paste it, paste it in the editor, um, you can't run in the XML as well because then you'll have two of the same thing on top of each other in the game. You won't see it, but it will cause problems in the game, you know, because there's two horse bonds on top of each other, uh, like uh, superimposed on top of each other, over each other, and running two scripts all the time it, it will definitely cause problems okay so now you're probably wondering where is the horse barn well at the moment it's right there in the center of the map under the ground you can't see it so we're going to use control b and just drop it here on the spot where we want it all right so just close that up go control and b and drop it in here Bloop, like so Okay, so now obviously you, you'll see that this this guy has got a um, a sort of an area for the the fence or whatever comes up there in game. So now we're gonna just go closer and have a look. My word, it's 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 basically it's not a horse barn. It's supposed to be called a horse field. <laughs> it's not a barn. Where's the barn? Are you guys smoking smoking stuff there, giants again? Oh, wait. All right. Anyways. All right. So the next thing we want to... I was going to have a look at that. Um, I noticed there's a... Um, I'm going to go file import again. I noticed there's a navigation mesh for it as well. So obviously, uh, we want to import the navigation mesh as well. So let me just do that while I'm there. I'm not too sure if I'm doing the right thing now, guys. But I'm going to go control on both of those. Let's drop that into gameplay. No, it's not in gameplay. Sorry. So I'm going to go control on those two on the mesh. X, control X, cut it. Drop it in here by my placeholders. This is also different from FS19. The navigation mesh in FS19 was in or part of the, the, the horse stable or the barn or the cow shed or whatever. So it looks like they've done it a bit different now. Uh, and now we're going to control B, bring this mesh. Uh, sorry. I can't place both of them, can I? Control B. Yeah, I can't. So what I'm going to do is the mesh, control B, just want to see. There it is. So you have to go for the, the blue one that says navigation mesh. And just bring it in here. 
I wonder if this horse barn small has got a navigation mesh because maybe I've been talking trash now all the time. Just want to quickly have a look here. Navigation root note. What's in here? It's got a mesh. So you don't have to import the mesh, guys. Sorry about that. Just delete those two again. I honestly don't know why they've got the separate and, uh, uh, um, navigation mesh in there. But there is the mesh. So just leave it as it is. Uh, and all should be well. Well, anyway, we'll see. We'll see when we when we um, test it in the in the game. All right. So now uh, I want to just select that horse barn so I can just get a visual of the area. And I want to just change that um, foliage there to grass for them because I I don't think Mido is going to do it. Mido is not going to do it. Should I make it a bit smaller? We'll just paint some grass here just for now. I'm not going to make it too much of it. You guys can do it yourself. Make it nice. Um, you know, make it look properly. Now I just need to find my um, my foliage layer painting. So it's on Mido at the moment. So we want to go to uh, grass. And then select the layer state for grass, obviously. I'm just going to go green middle. That's probably best option for now and just drop some grass here where the horses can um, enjoy themselves just to get a, a better feel for it all right because that's not really part of the part of the thing that's more like the um, finishing off of the product you know good okay so here we are the next thing you want to do is you want to now bring that xml or edit the xml so that it will bring this horse stable a horse barn small into your map when you open the map in game good all right so what we what we need to do now and in order to do that you obviously need the coordinates for it the rotation of it um, if you've got a special rotation for it let's give it a, a little bit of a rotation i'll uh, give it a nice little bit of a rotation like that and then there will be some stuff there otherwise it's just zeros <laughs> good okay so now we want to open the xml now to open the xml you will go into your directory of the map and you're going to go to find the file that says placeables all right now i'm going to open my placeables it might definitely look different than yours and um, at the moment it's still got all the alpine stuff in it so i'm going to leave it as is so I'm just going to add to it the, um, the horse thing. So I'm going to find the cow barn, uh, cow barn uh, um, line of uh, um, text in the XML. And I'm going to copy that. All right. Control C. Make a new line here at the, at the end just by pressing uh, home and then enter. And then the cow one, I'm going to do two of them. Oh, wait a second. I can't do it there. Watch this now. Because this is still part of the cow barn. Okay, so I can't do the cow barn. All right. So let's rather do this, guys. I'm going to show you a better way. I'm not going to save this XML now, because otherwise the, the changes is going to stick. So let us... Um, just do this uh, for now I'm going to close my notepad going to save my map so I just don't lose my, my horse, horse barn and you're going to see now the horse barn is here but it's not going to be there in game alright so once it's saved we can close the map let's open um, the game FS22 alright here we go and now when we've opened the game, we're going to go into the game, open the map, uh, mod map Alpine. There it is. Continue. This is now our map that we're busy adding the, the, uh, the horse table to. And now I'm going to run to that spot. You'll see the grass will be there, but the horse table will not be there because it's in the place all this folder. All right. So just bear that in mind. Let's get this all out of the way. All right. So here we are in our map. And I know the horse stable, we've packed it down here somewhere, right down there. So we're just going to run there quick. 
and you can see the grass is here but there's no horse stable all right so that's actually a nice spot for the horse stable it's actually a bit far from the farmhouse but yeah it's okay for now it's just for educational purpose anyway right so now we're going to go uh, purchase press the p and we're going to go to our stables or houses or whatever no it's not that one it is um purchase is it that one there yes the one that looks like a hamburger <laughs> construction <laughs> you go into construction and you find the horse stable um this is uh animals sorry man animals horses and then i just want to see what's this one horse barn horse pasture horse barn horse pasture I'm sure the one that I've have is the pasture. Yeah, that looks more like it. So why did they call that one a horse barn when it's a pasture? Anyway, like I said, I think the guys at Giants are smoking again. You know, that um, cigars that they have there at Giants is definitely uh, causing some issues to them. So we're just going to put this down here, and you press escape. Now we've got a horse barn working. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go save, save the map, save game, save game, save game. And you can follow this process by importing anything from the default map. Anything that is in the giant software, all the buildings, all the cell points, you can follow the same process and make it easy for yourself. Alright, so let's quit the game. Now we go out. And we were in slot one. Remember that's very important. When we choose the, 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 the game slot, it was save game one that we worked. So remember remember that because we're going to work in that one now. And now we just have to wait. And I've got a problem with, uh, with Giants because sometimes my game crashes and then it hangs. It just hangs at that exit screen. It doesn't close properly. Anyway. Now you're going to your My Documents directory, guys, here at Documents, and you're going to find, I've got a shortcut for it, but I'll take the long route, just so you don't get confused. You're going to find uh, the one that says Games, um, is it My Games, My Games, uh, My Games, uh, My Games, there it is, and then Farming Simulator 22, and then you're going to find the Save Game 1 slot. And then we're going to look at placeables. There is it. Placeables, placeables, placeables. And now in here, we should find something with a horse. So the easiest to do is Control F to find. And we just type the word horse uh, and find. Make sure your backwards direction is not selected. I'm using Notepad++, guys. If you're using any other text editor to edit your XMLs, Obviously, you might not have the same find panel, you know, so yeah, bear in mind. Um, so we're going to find the horse. Here it is. Horse barn small. And now we've got everything, the directory for it, the whole shebang. So what we do is we just click on the, the first word in the line that says placeable, and it will show you where the end of, of the whole placeable is. So then we're going to select you on the side, and in your mind, just remember the whole selection that you need to make Control c all right and now we go back to our map this is our map it's in the mods folder the wild maps alpine and obviously your directory will be whatever your map name is and you find your placeables xml and it's as simple as now we can place it anywhere i'm going to just find the cow barn uh, there it is and I'm going to place it underneath that just for fun. You press the home button once you've created a new line. Control V to put it in. And you are A for away. Right, so now we've edited the, um, the XML. And the game will know to place this horse barn, which is in this directory, in the game at this position. So now we need to pos the position and the rotation to make it, uh, put it in the right spot. The ID you can delete. So just remember not to delete anything else, guys. Just remove the word ID. Leave the space there between the stuff. So position, rotation, age you can delete. 
H does not need to be in the XML and the price you can delete form ID you want to leave because form ID 1 is your uh, main form form ID 1 storage great okay so there it is now we've edited that now we just need to quickly go into the map so I'm going to open the map i3d double click on that once we've got that open we can um, we can now go to our actual horse table or horse barn or whatever you want to call it this one here I'm just going to click on it to get the, the directory for it make sure you have the the main r3d of it selected not something inside so you want to close that um, make sure you've got the the whole thing selected and then you're going to click here by uh, translate x uh, hold your control your shift and your c for copy now when you have control shift and c it will copy all three lines at once so you don't have to go type all of these one by one into your xml all right, so at the position that is your your in your editor it is your it is your translate x y and z that three positions is the same as uh, the one that says position here all right so i've selected now the ones that's in there i'm going to just con uh, press control and v this time not shift just control and v for paste and there you go now i've put this all three in there from the game and now the same thing with the rotation we're going to go back into the map click on the first x for ro for rotate control shift and c to copy all three for us back into the xml S i just want to make my mouse a bit slower again because i was in game and i've made it faster everything in between that little inverted commas control and v paste it in there don't worry if if the editor or, or the um, conversion pastes something with all these numbers it's perfectly fine it's uh, the game will round it off so it's actually 22.49 if you look at this 22.494 that's fine don't worry about the rest it just leave it like that all right so that is now our uh, horse stable input into the game now the next thing we just want to make sure uh, about the directory it is data placeables lizard horse bond small horse bond small yeah we were in the lizard and horse bond small yeah so it, it it definitely looks like the right thing you're gonna see in game anyway if you've got the wrong directory yet yeah, will paste something else there <laughs> for you so it might be a big surprise remember to save guys you save here in the map we don't have to save anything because we've just pulled some um, some um, info out of it so nothing has changed and now that we've got the new placeables working let's open the map again right so here we go back into farming simulator 2 very important to save your xml because otherwise the changes will not be shown in the game after you've saved it you will see it okay so now I'm going to delete this save game because we're not going to use it anymore and just for interest sake so that you th so that you know I'm not jippoing or making stuff up I'm going to use empty slot 2 start a new new game back into our map continue let it load let it load great so once it's finished loading we can run to our form and uh, just confirm that our thingamabob is there you can already see it there on the little mini map there's a blue dot there I could have actually just selected and visited you know but now what you'll do now obviously is go to the little paw of the dog um, press R and you can bu buy some horses um, as many as you want um, and say select buy yes okay and there you are these four horses and that friend is how you import a placeable into fs22 if you work directly out of um, the base game 
Now this is not a mod that we've imported. This is a placeable that's already in Giants in the game. Alright, so I want to just quickly make a note for you. If you want to, um, let's go out of the game. I just want to go back to my quit game. Yes. I'll make another video on how to put a mod in your game because that's a different process because now you're working with something externally out of out of giants uh, little um, little haven that they've created for themselves you know so if you if you want to work with a mod it's a different it's slightly different the only actual thing now is you're gonna have a folder in your actual map because remember we we not have we're not having the uh, horse stable in our map although we've placed it there because later on you can delete it out of that uh, placeholders folder let me just open it again so we um, we can compare apples with apples they say so if you look at um, our map uh, where is it now farm is it under gameplay I keep on forgetting where it is Is it locations? Help me guys. Where's our farm? <laughs> Main farm, there it is. My wit. Okay, placeholders. So if you open your placeholders, these are little horse barner. And now just keep in mind this is not really in the game. It's just here for us in the editor to see. So later on when you've finished your map and everything is working and you had version 10 and uh, you are totally ecstatic about your map, you can come and delete this whole folder that says placeholders because it's not going to make a difference. Because this thing is actually not in the game. It's just in the editor for us to have something as a reference to know it's there. Because currently, look at it, there's nothing there. But anyway, I've talked too much about that. Okay, so now, just to show you the difference now, if you want to import a mod, um, go into your directory, you will have a folder here under, and under your um, map folder. Create a new folder called Placeables, or Default Items, or Items, and just name that folder and put all your mods that you want to use in the game in there and now you're going to use the items folder different so placeables is for the in-game stuff that's already there in fs22 and the items folder is the same as in fs19 where you work with the items folder now currently this thing is empty because i don't have any any special additional mods running in the game you know or yet so you will place that, um, follow the same principle, go into the game, import the mod into your map, um, and then copy from the save game, copy the stuff in there. But I will make an uh, extra video on that, because it's a whole process. And then you're also going to edit the mod disk. Um, that's a difference. Uh, if you work with something outside of the game, it needs to be specified in your mod disk, because it will be um, something out of uh, um, outside of... Uh, giants so you're going to have a, um, a, um, a special section here in the mod disk for for um, extra source files and stuff you know so that will be on the net on another video great so i hope it's been um, educational i hope it's uh, it's helped and um, yeah that was the way to do it in in version 22 great well guys thank you so so much for watching i hope it helped a bit i'll catch you next time man and thanks so much for uh, subscribing and uh, sharing and liking. Really appreciate that. Catch you next time. Cheers.